so I'm Adam Wallerstein. I'm an account executive at DataCamp. My name is James Stevens, and I work on the customer success team at DataCamp. DataCamp High Level is an online platform for data fluency. Um, what we strive to do is promote a baseline level of data fluency across any organization. So what we see nowadays, there's you know, tons of data in the world being generated, and unfortunately, not enough people have the skills to know how to handle that data. So as we work with, we're really just scratching the surface when it comes to finance, and we're seeing more corporations and big financial services companies have all this data and, and the process of that digital transformation that they're going through. And we're providing just a community where all these employees can feel comfortable and have a place to go for this ongoing learning and accessing this data and not being like something that's in their work day, just having a resource that they can access and feel comfortable with, engage with their employees, talk about data, talk about data science, just creating that, that community feel for uh, organizations in, in the financial space. Typically with I mean, any aspect of the financial world, there's tons of data being generated and obviously you want to make smart business decisions and so you, know, you need to be able to make or gain insights from that data um, and you know, taking a data camp course or two could really go a long way into helping you find those insights. Uh, clients achieving success is kind of a two-part problem. So A, part of it's on me as their customer success manager to ensure that you know, everyone's using the product, like I said, everyone is you know, working to achieve the goals that they set before they buy the product. But part of it is also on the company. So we see you know, a lot of companies have a developed culture of learning. Um, so therefore, you know, that's on their HR people or their L&D people to you know, constantly set assignments on our platform or create learning tracks that you know, they plan to have their employees go through. So a lot of it is, it's partially on me, partially on the company, and we see that the companies that have that established culture of learning tend to get a better ROI from DataCamp because their employees are able to you know, take more content, it fits better into their day-to-day, -day, as opposed to certain companies that are more so Let's buy you know, X amount of licenses for the product and let our analysts kind of run wild. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a two-part problem. Well, we're, we're continuing to build our enterprise model and our business model to, to build it out more, to scale to what you just mentioned, to get access in that data and, and really building that product out. So we uh, keep having additional features there, more engagement features to really drive people and employees to use it. And, and analysts who have a really, really like 12 hour work days, not to be, this is like a thing that they have to do, it's, it's something that they should be doing to, to actually cut their efficiency down and, and make them use data way more efficient to drive those insights. Um, one of our colleagues comes from like a media background and he's constantly worked on spreadsheets all throughout his, his work day. And he came to Data Camp, started, well, before he even came to Data Camp, he started taking Data Camp courses. And we have a lot of courses focused in those spreadsheet content. He started taking the courses and he cut his spreadsheet time down multiple hours. And it really like cut into his work day pretty, pretty significantly. So that was one example that I always like to discuss to people. What we call a data camp power user, um, who's you know, obviously got some of the most experienced points on our platform. He recently, we published a, uh, a blog post about him recently and he has over a million XP on data camp. And just by taking data camp courses, figured out a way to remove like, what was it, almost 100 hours of work time from him yeah. and his team's workload in a given year. Um, what we've typically seen in the past is video-based courses where you watch you know, 45 minutes of content and then at the end you're, you're asked you know, five to 10 questions on what you learned. And what we've seen is that's an inefficient way to learn. Um, and with DataCamp, we believe in a learn by doing approach. So therefore, we do more of a, you know, you watch a three to five minute video, do some coding right in your browser right there, and then you move on to the next theory or concept. And what we've seen as a result of that is there's really not much competition in our space specifically. Um, what we see as our biggest competition is if we speak with a potential client and they decide, you know, not to pursue this initiative because, you know, then not only, are, you know, does it negatively impact them because they can't gain insights from their data or it will take them longer to do so, but then obviously we don't have a partnership with them. But so specific companies, I can't really think of any off the top of our head. Obviously, like I said, there are some where, you know, you're watching long videos, but our biggest threat is a company choosing not to do anything about this, you know, digital transformation that we're about to come on to. Nobody knows what the future holds, but I mean, I'm sure 
See, that's the thing that's really exciting about a company like DataCamp is, you know, in two years it could be the data science learning platform of the world. We don't know, but obviously this demand is growing and you look at, you know, most job listings for insurance, financial services, either healthcare or government, they're data scientists, data analysts, those are in high demand and hopefully, you know, DataCamp we can produce a few more of those. How are you um, finding the conference? Excellent. Um, it's, it's been really just the sessions. I've never really been to a conference where the sessions have been so engaging and the panelists have been really great on hitting all topics of data and how it relates to the financial space and to, and to other industries as well. And um, it's, been, it's been an excellent experience so far. Yeah, it's you know, so far so good. Really enjoyed the, um, you know, the, the small size of this conference allows for you know, intimate conversation and uh, you can really learn a lot from some of these panels and personally it's been great to see a couple of data camp users stop by and say hello to us and you know, it's, it's always good to see that so this has been a really enjoyable experience.